Baltimore has a new mayor in charge, at least for the time being. Current mayor Catherine Pugh has suddenly decided to take an indefinite leave of absence for health region reasons. Her office says she has pneumonia, but the timing of her exit comes amid a brewing political scandal. Maryland's governor has actually called now for this investigation into lucrative sales of the mayor's Healthy Holly children's books to the University of Maryland's medical system. And the Baltimore Sun reports red flags are being raised about the mayor's book sales to a company that was bidding for city business. David Zerowick is the media critic with the Baltimore Sun. He's with me now. And so uh, you certainly don't hold back in, in these columns I've read of yours. I mean, you're, you're calling this moment humiliating and ugly for the city of Baltimore. Tell me why. Well, actually, I'm quoting a radio show host on there. But you know what, Brooke? I would agree with the characterization of ugly and humiliating. So I'm totally fine with it. Um, it is really because there's a narrative about this city that's out there. And the narrative is that it's dysfunctional and corrupt and does not operate in the interests of its citizens. That's a pernicious, destructive narrative. Some of it's political because then they say, well, this is what you get with 60 years or whatever it is of democratic one party rule. And so that becomes ideological and political. But that narrative is not just, it's out there, okay? This, her actions in her Holly, uh, Healthy Holly book deals absolutely feed that narrative. For many people, it's proof positive. If you listen to the talk shows on Baltimore radio yesterday, they were just blowing up with people. And there were plenty of calls for her resignation as a result of it. The irony is, is that she's, she came in saying, change the narrative. Let's change that narrative about Baltimore than her actions, yeah. Well, in talking about changing the narrative, and let me, these are your words. This is a piece I read of yours from, from last year. I detect something distinctly Trumpian and embattled public officials deflecting blame, especially in the direction of the media. Is that part of this with her? It is. She's blamed the media um, uh, often. And, and she's blamed the Baltimore Sun, by the way. Last week, after the Baltimore Sun had documented that she received $500,000 from the University of Maryland medical system for self-published books that nobody could account for where they were, who got them, any of that. $500,000. In an interview with The Sun, she called what we were doing a witch hunt. So mm -hmm. there's your Trump talk for you folks. She really, she really picked up on that. Changed the narrative, challenged the media. Blame the media for the problems. Look, the media are not the problems, a reason for the problems in Baltimore. Brooke, you were here in 2015 for the uprising. You were standing on the streets of Baltimore for several days reporting. Uh, I remember it. You know how deep-seated the, the troubles here are. After the uprising in 2015, after the death of Freddie Gray, almost everyone seemed to agree there can be no margin of error anymore. We have to get it right. We have to come together as a community. We have to come up with a narrative and we have to pursue that vision. Well, in 2016, we elected Catherine Pugh mayor and it has been downhill since. It has been nothing but trouble and error. Wow. David Zerowick, not holding, not holding his fire today. <laughs> oh, media critic with the Baltimore Sun. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, bro.